the good times we had, like uh, when we went camping and spent that night telling each other all our secrets. Uh, I told him I'm addicted to pedicures, and he told me he lost his virginity to his cousin. <laughs> She was my second cousin. <laughs> and the first woman you ever disappointed sexually. Bada <laughs> oh. Well, yeah. And then there was a time when Leonard and I took Howard to Las Vegas and, and, and paid a hooker to pretend she was Jewish and that she wanted his little kosher pickle. <laughs> Humping hooker stories, that one's my favorite. <laughs> okay, buddy, that's it. Sit down. Oh, 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 what about that that tubby girl in the Sailor Moon costume at Comic Con? <laughs> Don't remember. Please sit down. The only threesome I've ever had in my whole life. And I'm proud to say it was with this man right here. <laughs> See you in hell, Sheldon. The most frightening thing about that is the missing comma. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> that one was clever. Skeleton with phosphorus on a zip line. Come on out, merry pranksters. Take a bow. <laughs> you should have seen your face. Uh, yes, there's nothing quite like the slightly widened eyes of mildly startled. <laughs> Come on, admit it, we got you, Please. Sheldon. Please. Fright depends on an element of surprise. The simple fact is, because I am much smarter than you and able to anticipate your actions, it is highly unlikely that you two rubes could ever surprise me. <laughs> He's probably right. We can't beat him. He's just too smart. Gentlemen. With a beautiful, radiant young woman and her friend who's about to get married. <laughs> Ladies, can you tell us what you're doing? Um, these are gift bags we're gonna put in the hotel rooms of our out-of-town guests. This is a map of Pasadena, this is a list of local restaurants, and then for Howie's relatives, we have antihistamines, antacids, and medicine for diarrhea and constipation. <laughs> we labeled them stop and go. All right, pivoting to the big question. Bernadette, on your wedding night, you'll be consummating your marriage. What do you think your first sexual position will be as husband and wife? Me, please. Keeping in mind that whoever's on top may set the tone for the marriage. OK, show's over. Hey, they may conceive a child on their wedding night. Don't you think the kid might get a kick out of knowing how it happened? <laughs> It was a harmless Halloween prank. Look. Howard has a heart condition. You know that? Well, I thought he made that up. Wait, isn't hypochondria a common idiosyncrasy of Jewish people? This is adrenaline. We're going to have to inject it into his heart. We are? You are. I'm not strong enough to get it through his chest plate, and we've only got one shot. Oh, no. I can't. Hurry. We're running out of time. Okay. Just do it! Oh, God! One, two, three. <laughs> Trick or treat, bubble up. <laughs> what? <laughs> no. You mean this was all a ruse? Oh, how could I be so Would you like to dance? No, thank you. I'm really not much of a dancer. Not exactly winning any trophies as a conversationalist, either. <laughs> I'm sorry. The bride and groom seem happy. Why shouldn't they be? They have a feverish night of socially approved copulation ahead of them. Can you tell me the specials this evening? Sheldon, I'm not waiting on you. Obviously. I don't even have water yet. Because you're not here. That's discrimination against the otherwise located. I'm going to have to go over your head. Manager? Manager? Oh, Lord. Look who it is. Is that Steve Wozniak? I think it is. 
the great and powerful Woz. Uh, uh, Penny, uh, Steve Wozniak was one of the co-founders of Apple Computer. He and Steve Jobs started yeah, I it. I know who he is. I watch Dancing with the Stars. I must speak to him. Of course you must. <laughs> You know, there's an olive garden down the street. You guys should try it sometime. Excuse me, Mr. Wozniak? Oh, hey, nice virtual presence device. Thank you. I just want to say I'm a big fan. You're my 15th favorite technological visionary. Only 15th? It's still six spots above Steve Jobs. I care neither for turtlenecks nor showmanship. Yeah, I never got that turtleneck thing. One of my proudest possessions is a vintage 1977 Apple II. Despite the file system limitations of Apple DOS 3.3, it was a pretty nifty little achievement. Thanks, we were shooting for nifty. All right, let's go. Wait, you hold on. Before we get to the courthouse, I'd like to call on your skills as an actress. What is this? I've taken the liberty of scripting your appearance on the witness stand because, let's face it, you're somewhat of a loose cannon. Now, <laughs> don't worry, it's written in your vernacular, so shall we rehearse? Do I have a choice? Well, of course you have a choice. Although we live in a deterministic universe, each individual has free will. Now sit down. <laughs> I call your attention to the events of November 16th. Do you remember that date? Darn tootin', I do. <laughs> The court will excuse my homespun, corn-fed, Nebraskan turn of phrase. Excellent, go on. The reason that date is, like, so totally fixed in my memory is that I had the privilege to be witness to one of the most heroic acts I've ever seen in, like, ever. And this is Leonard and Sheldon's apartment? Guess whose parents just got broadband. <laughs> Leonard, may I present, live from New Delhi, Dr. and Mrs. V.M. Kutrapali. Hi. Tilt up the camera, I'm looking at his crotch. <laughs> Sorry, Baba. Oh, that's much better. Hi. Hi. <laughs> and over here is Sheldon. Hi. He lives with Leonard. Oh, that's nice. Like Haroon and Tanvir. No, no, not like Haroon and Tanvir. Such sweet young men. They just adopted the cutest little Punjabi baby. Yeah. No, we're not like Haroon and Tanvir. <laughs> So are you boys academics like our son? Uh -huh. Yes. And your parents are comfortable with your limited earning potential? Not oh, yes. at all. <laughs> Papa, please don't start. Oh, it's just a question. He's so sensitive. OK, that's my life. That's my friends. Good to see you. Say goodbye. Bye. Bye, -bye. Wait, wait. <laughs> Before you go, we have good news. Put the computer down and gather your friends. What is it, Papa? I don't see your friends. Is it just me, or does web chatting with your clothes on seem a little pointless? Rajesh, do you remember Lalita Gupta? The little fat girl that used to kick me in the samosas and call me untouchable? Yes. Well, now she's a dental student at USC, so we gave her your contact information. Why did you do that? You're 26 years old, Rajesh. We want grandchildren. But, Papa, I'm not supposed Lalita's to... Lalita's parents approve the match. If you decide on a spring wedding, we can avoid monsoon season. A spring wedding? Anybody need a refill? Where did my life go, Penny? <laughs> One day I'm a carefree bachelor, and the next I'm married and driving a minivan to peewee cricket matches in suburban New Delhi. Are, are you talking to me? Is there another Penny here? <laughs> I had such plans. I had dreams. I was going to be the Indira Gandhi of particle astrophysics. But with a penis, of course. <laughs> it's amazing. Ever since I was a little boy, my father wanted me to be a gynecologist like him. How can I be a gynecologist? I can barely look a woman in the eye. <laughs> you know what? I'm not going to let my parents control my future any longer. It's time for a showdown. Somebody give me a computer with a webcam. Okay. <laughs> I think that's the grasshopper talking. And it's about to tell my parents that I'm not riding an elephant down the aisle with Lalita Gupta. <laughs> and we're blending, and we're blending, and we're done. I know Mr. Data isn't supposed to smile, but here it comes. <laughs> Come on, guys, let's do this. 
Yeah, I'm sweating my bald cap off. <laughs> So what's our first pose gonna be? Uh, I say we begin with a classic Star Trek fight scene. I'll set the timer. <laughs> Sheldon, how is that a fight pose? Mr. Data's weapon is his mind. I'm wielding it. <laughs> Phases on the Borg. Angels. Okay, what's next? Uh, now let's do some sexy glamour shots. I'll set the mood. Yeah, nice one. Hey, there's something I have to tell you. What? I know what was in your dad's letter. Sheldon, I swear to God, I'm gonna kill you. Hey! We <laughs> made him tell us. Us? Who else knows? I know. Me too. Same here. Shame on all of you. <laughs> you know too. Couldn't leave him with one friend, could you? <laughs> so everybody knows what's in that letter except for me? Yes, it's six against one. Stand down, sir. <laughs> How could you do this? If you want, we could tell you. No, I don't want to know. I mean, I do, but I, I gotta go. Well, if you want romance, then let's have romance. Oh, look, there's wine. Mmm. Oh, grape juice that burns. <laughs> uh, now let's gaze into each other's eyes. You blinked, I win. Shut let's in. see what's next. Oh, kissing's romantic. said if I come back to the engine room he'd show me how to bring the train through a crossing okay have fun do you want to come with me really I do